we're having a professional in the house. We have Anna Oyebanjo. I hope I got that right. <laughs> Welcome, ma'am, to the show. Thank you. And so the second segment, we'll be talking about the 360-degree woman. Yes. Welcome to the show, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. So let's start with this question that who exactly is a 360-degree woman? <coughs> Thank you very much. 360 degrees, my coinage. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, from the uh, knowledge of what 360 degree is, which is like a complete, holistic, total woman. So this is a woman who has been able to manage to be successful across all strata. It's a big issue and it's yes. a big question. Yes. I get to be asked this question often, you know, to say, how are you able to be successful across board? So if you take the life of a woman from a girl, you are a student, yes. you become a lady, you go to university, hopefully tertiary institution, yes. then you start a career or you run into a business, you become a wife, you have a husband, a mother, you have children, mm -hmm. and then your life goes on, you become grandmother, yes. you, are, you begin to impact economy and the society and all of that. And then you have responsibility even towards the community where you stay, your neighborhood, you know, your associations, organizations, be it in your church or in your mosque, wherever, you know, the society and life. So, so you find a woman, uh, a 360 degree woman is a woman who has been able to manage to make an impact across or be successful across as much as possible. She's not perfect. Yes. But she's able to go across all of those strata significantly well and right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now I, I, I want us to talk about the how. Okay. Because it's obviously not not an easy, easy task. Thing. Being too many things at the same time. Sure. Being a girl, being a mother, being a wife. Correct. Being everything. So yes. how is it possible to manage being a mother yes. and being a 360 degree woman? Yes. Thank you. So maybe I should quickly still pull an analogy here to say, when we think about this 360 degree woman, let's keep in view that, let's just do an analogy of a school cert person. Okay. Two people writing school cert. One person comes out, there are six papers, for example. So one person comes out three A's and three F, F9. The other person, six papers, one A, maybe one or two B's, two or three C's, one D. So we ask ourselves, who is the 360 amongst them? Who is the more balanced one. amongst them? Do you see? Yes. So I would rather the B, the second person who caught her crossing. She didn't score an A across board. Yes. yes. Maybe in one or two, yes, but she didn't fail it any. Yeah. That's the point. Point. Rather than you are, you're so successful in some areas and in some areas you are really terrible. You're bad. So what I'm trying to campaign and to champion and to talk about and to encourage women to be is to say, it is possible, you know, to be able to be that second person who doesn't feel anywhere. Well, you might not be that excellent everywhere, but you'll be excellent in one place. Come on. You should be in one place at least. Right. <laughs> yes. so, so back to your question on how, how to be this. I hear you. I'll first put it on your foundation from my experience, personal experience, mm -hmm. your foundation. The foundation of a girl child is critical. And here is now getting me to my passion in terms of education. Education, yes. If we don't educate our girl children, we don't give them the foundation to even become a 360 in the very first instance. Because education liberates. Yeah. My parents were not, my mother was not literate at all, but she campaigned education until her death. And while we're growing up, seven of us, she did so much to ensure we went to school. So for me, the greatest legacy I ever had in life education. is education. education. And that's why I personally, I support education. I have a foundation that supports girls' education. Because if you don't educate a girl child, the future is bleak already. Yeah. So for me, if you ask, the, base, the very first fundamental is education. And then, which, which is learning, you know, that. So a, a woman or a girl child, for you to be a 360 person, must continue to learn. Even after you become education, yes, but learning in any other form, formal yes. or informal learning, trainings, you know, whatever, whatever strat stage you are in that your life cycle as a woman, learning is critical. Thank God for the internet and internet. everything now, so you can learn, you know, learn, just learn, or your business, then career, everything, learning is critical. Number two for me, how you can be is 
aside from your foundation, is how you apply yourselves. Every woman should have a job or a career or a business. You can't be a 360 woman if you believe that your husband can provide everything, everything. and yeah. then all you need to just sit down and know, sorry, no. There's something inside of you because everyone born on earth has some light in her and him as well, actually. Yes. You have some light in you. There's something, an endowment in you to impact, to affect, to change, to help, to support, to encourage someone. So you can't just sit back without doing anything. Okay. You, you may not even do work to give you money, money. but you can do work to impart society. And That's society. another one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So and a volunteer. If you, don't have, if you don't have a job, you can't be a 360-degree woman. Yeah. So if you don't have a job, yes. so let me, let me manage this well. And say, okay. If you don't have a job, because what's a job? A job is where you, you offer okay, something, you, guess, get some, you get some you get reward. You can still be if you have a vocation. Okay. Or if you have, uh, what do you call There are people in NGOs. You yes. Have, you have... Do, you do, do something with your hands. You have something you're doing. It may not give you yes. money, but it's giving you satisfaction. Yeah. It's give, you are impacting life. For example, volunteer works, for example. Yes. You find some women... They don't need the money or the money isn't coming, but what they are doing is they are impacting by maybe going to just train some kids, counsel some kids, you know, clean up this, do something. You're, you can't just sit back, you watch TV, and that's fine, watch tea and coffee, right? <laughs> watch TV, <laughs> you eat food, you cook for the children, you go bring the children from school, blah, 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 that all of those are fine. But do something else yeah. that fulfills you from within. You want to go to bed every night, you, you have that feeling, Girl, good job. I did well. You try. You did something today. Okay. Even if it means pulling the children in the society together in your community, bring them together. All their mothers have gone to work. Eh? You house them, take mm -hmm. care of them, sing them songs, teach them some values for that okay. period of time. It's something. Okay. Well, doesn't that have to do with the person's mentality? Because I always say that it's start from the home. home Sometimes yeah. some women that grow up, you know, to become mothers and yes. wives, um, yes. the way they grew up, they grew up to know that, okay, um, they just, they'll be in the house, be the, uh, the caregiver, you know. So they don't feel that there's a, there's a need for them to do something for the society. They feel that once they're able to help their husband in the house and, you know, train the children or take care of the dishes, cook and make sure everyone is okay at home, then they are doing something for okay. themselves. So I'll break that for any woman. Tell them, do you are, if you're such a woman or such women have limited themselves. I can tell you the fact that our mothers did that. Some of our mothers did that. Does not make that the ideal. And okay. the woman that comes to mind usually in my head is, permit me, if you are not a Christian, is Deborah. Okay. okay. Where the Bible was saying, you know, a wife, a prophetess, and she judged Israel. So, so you can be a wife and a home, and that makes you the 360 because mm -hmm. the home is in shatters. You are still able to put it together. together. But you have a vocation. You have something you are endowed with to give to the society and your people and the community or somebody, even if it's in the church or in the mosque, there's something you carry. Every woman should realize this, that you are not an empty woman. Sometimes women, because of the background and the fact that some are wrongly married, if I may say that, or they've been emotionally battered, emotionally battered. They, their self-esteem is completely down. Therefore, you think there's nothing good about you. You think you're just as good as, let me just hide back, let me just stay at home and all. You'll be shocked what you carry. I'm speaking to a woman there. You'll be shocked what can still come out of you. And I've experienced quite a number of them. And I've seen 360 degree change, actually. I've seen some people that think they couldn't do this and that. And this gives me joy most in my life. And I see them move from, I don't think I can do it. Yes. I, you know, da, da, da. and I see them come to a level where they're doing they discover it. Themselves. Yes. They discover themselves. themselves. They're excited. They're happy and all. Okay. Women, we are so endowed, and there's a lot inside of us, mm -hmm. right? So, so this... I'm trying to break that. Yes. If that is the background where you've come from, where, you know, as a woman, you just sit back and all of that, it's too dangerous. It's very risky. There have been instances where the men die. The husband dies, and the yes. woman doesn't know left what to do. She left the children. Exactly. Yes. Because I, I, I saw a video last week. Yes, I had a conversation me, yes. with you how that a, a woman lost her husband yes. and within the space of a week or two, so the in-laws threw her out. Her, she with was children. frustrated with children. And she was in tears. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know where to go. She was frustrated. Yes. So, so, th so women have to be empowered and they must seek to empower themselves because it starts from you. Do you know, let's converse it. There are instances where men 
uh, and I also know one or two cases where the man is begging me to say, please, I don't want my wife to sit like that. I'm pleading, I've, I've done this, she messed it up, she couldn't do that, she couldn't do that, she couldn't do that. What else do I do? I'm not happy she's home every time. I think, sorry to yes, interrupt. Please, go yeah, ahead. I, I think it's, it boils down to the woman discovering herself, -discovery. knowing what you want to do, because yeah. regardless of how much your husband or your spouse push you to the edge, yeah. you still would it's not to you as do a person. What, exactly. Okay. So you have okay. to discover what you want to do for yourself, mm. what you're passionate mm. about. Yes. So talking about the 360 degree woman, yes. is it a good thing? Because um, there's a saying that goes that uh, master, master of all trades, uh, yes. sorry, Jack, Jack, of Jack of all trades, Jack of all trades, master of none. Of none. <laughs> exactly. Yes. So is it a good thing for a 360 degree woman? Okay. So I hear you to say, eh, hey, Shouldn't you master some? But if you look at the life cycle, like I said, when you are a child, there are things you must master okay. as a child, as a girl child. For me, as a girl child, it would be education. Remove all the um, extraneous things, all the distractions, boyfriend and all of that. Keep them. It's not your time, you know. Go yes. for education. So you become a lady. When you become a lady, open your eyes. You are beginning to love. People are loving you. Be open. At that point in time, it's almost like you're drawing a graph. At that point in time, there is one that should shoot out. You should take your, that, at that point in time, your beauty, your gait, your looks, your everything. You, do you understand? Because at this, this is the attractive time of your life when you have sweaters and all of that. That should shoot up, in my opinion, and then begin to pursue your career. So you become a wife and a mother. When you become a wife, of course, loving your home, keeping the home and all of that. You become a mother, nursing the children, become the the priority. priority. So at each mm. point in time, there should be priorities according to the life cycle. Do you understand what I'm yes. saying? So yeah. you're not totally a jack of all in that sense of it. But you, you know all, but you're not mastering all. You're, master, you're trying to master one at a point That's in a time. Point. Okay. You won't be successful across all board in that sense, but you can live a life where you are not a failure anywhere. Anywhere. And, and let me also quickly drop in this that okay. even from a spiritual point of view, for me, the base, you were talking about values earlier, aside education, your spirituality is critical. If I look at my life and I have my life as an example, the difference I know in my life is the spirituality because therein lies your values. Your values are loaded in spirituality, what you believe, who you believe. I believe the Bible. And the Bible teaches some things, the do's and don'ts. Yes. And you don't, those things don't fail. I've tried it my over 50 years, yes. And they have never failed. And I can see, see it just takes you up northward if you follow through. Mm. Doing the right things at the right, the time. right time. Yes. Okay, so if you are not married as yes. a single lady, yes. you yes. know, you have a job, you are probably one of the C-suite positions, Correct. you know. Can you address yourself as a 360 woman? It's a technical question. <laughs> and you're used to this. <laughs> it's fine. For me, I'll still say yes. Okay. Because you see, life also has this, the way it dishes things out to us. Okay. Now, sometimes not being married is our error, which we sometimes regret. And we wish we had done one or two things okay. right. But it's not the end, to be honest. Like we said, you're not perfect. Yeah. And you'll be shocked. Whoever isn't married today, you'll be sure that tomorrow that lady may still get married. Sure. So it's not really conclusive. Yeah. Right. But even then, there are people who've done all the right things and yet they're not married. It's nothing to feel you're um, less a no. complete woman. Yeah. Are you with me? So yeah. such a person, you see them really track very strongly in one or two other areas. In fact, I've had instances where those who are not married are better counseling those who are even married. married. It's, it's amazing. You see, because they don't have that, but they are telling you from their standpoint, if you've done this and that and that, you should do this and that. A few of them, though, but it's possible. Okay. Hmm. So, okay. Um, I know everything that has an advantage mm -hmm. has disadvantages as well. So, I True. want to direct this to women in the corporate world. Right. I'm aware that most of their husbands right. complain that okay. they do a lot. <laughs> so... We have a call yes. now. When, yes. when we're done with the call, we'll come back. Jesu Sharefumi from Lekki. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good, yeah, morning. good morning. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, Hannah. Hi. You good. Look good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay. So my question is: you mentioned you mentioned something about priorities. 
Now, most women actually don't know how to set priorities right. What should come first and what should not come first. So please explain how, as a 360-degree woman, how you can set your priorities right, manage your home, manage your family, extended family, and also your work. Thank you so much. Whoa. Thank you, Josephine. Thank you. What a, what a great and brilliant <laughs> question, you know. <laughs> So really, this there will not be one answer to this. Yeah. An answer won't fit it all because it depends on the peculiarity of the situation you have yourself. Yeah. If you have, if you have um, a, a husband that's very, what's the word? Supportive. supportive yeah. A supporting husband. It's different from when you have a husband that really doesn't like you working that much or is very busy with his own business and thinks you should be home or you should close and get home by six o'clock and all of those very, very variables will come to play. So as a wise woman, I'll use the woman, mm. as a wise woman, your priority is, okay, this is my husband. My husband has just taken a new job, for example, meaning he sometimes come back home late. Mm. How do I, and my own job as well, keeps me back home late, what do we do? It may be a time for me to change my job. Priority may be that, you know what? I may move from this job that takes me overnight as well to a job. They pay me less, pay cut. I take that, but I then close by six. I'm still at work, but I'm getting back home back early home. so I can balance the home because my husband may go away for two, three days. So priority changes. So you can, and many women have paid that sacrifice. You know, you have to let go of a very high paying job oh. and all of that for a lesser one. Yeah, because of the situation you found yourself. Well, okay. sorry, for the balance. I, yeah. I think I know. Because, um, so about three months ago, yes. someone tr trended on Twitter yeah. okay. how that a couple, the lady worked at Kano. She was she got the highest pay. She was I think she was earning around close to six million naira in a month, and the husband would earn seventy thousand naira in a month, and he was complaining. So it was difficult for her to move. And the man demanded that she moved back to Port Harcourt. I'm just trying to buttress yes. on what you just said. Right. The man demanded that she moved to Port Harcourt. Right. And she was like, I can't move to Port Harcourt. Yes. I have the highest paying okay. job, job. And your job is less. So with mm. my money, we can yes. actually take care of the home. Right. But the man insisted that she moved. It's right. either she moved back to Port Harcourt. <coughs> okay. So, that's okay. so let life. me then throw in another balance here. And it twists. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, as women who are very successful and we are doing well, if we're not careful, it can get into us. You see, there's a way you can manage a man to get the best out of that man. But again, don't let's lose the fact that the base is important. What do you both believe? Mm -hmm. What's your value system? Are you both Christians? Let me, I can talk about Christianity because that's my forte. That's, yes. where, that's what I am. If we both believe the Bible, it becomes a, lot, a little easier. And I'm not saying completely easier. No, it becomes a lot easier. There was a time in my home, and I'm sure my husband doesn't mind us sharing this. Okay. You know, we were both working in the same company early, over close to 30 years ago when we started our career. But he had to leave the same company so that I could stay. And I moved very high in the business. He was trying to do his entrepreneurial work, but his business wasn't going well. You know how these things go. Yes. Do an engineer. It was really difficult. I was the person earning the money for that period of time. But again, my head was up, down, right? Mm. I mean... How you manage those sensitivities is very important. I know of a case where, similar, like I was then, and the, hus he, he will, um, the husband, when the husband wants to go look for a job, in this instance, the husband will have to come to meet her every time to say, please, can I have uh, 200, 500, yes, I want to go to work and all, for transport and all of that. And I had to counsel that, my friend, to say, that's not right. Don't do that. He's a man. Remember, first, I mean, if we're going with Bible, remember, he's a man. Help him go through this season, right? Put the money there. I mean, this is what we did. Yeah. We had an account where it, we put it there for either of us to take. So he doesn't need to ask me at that point in time. Yes. Until, of course, that phase went over very fast for us. So the support of one to the other is important. And I'm, but let me also balance to say, there are some men that are not self-assured. Mm -hmm. This is the crux of it. Yes. If your husband isn't self-assured as a man, He's going to, you, as you're moving up, he's trying to pull you pull down. You down. That, that's, that's an issue. It's, and it's a big issue. And the question is, if you have that issue, what do you do? Pray, <laughs> trust God, try as best, as much as you can, and be wise. Yeah. I mean, if you're ha having the money and in the money, 
Is there a way you can give him some money? Mm -hmm. Are you out of your six million? Do you give it two hundred thousand, for example, every month that he doesn't know? But but let him feel like he's the man, please. Okay. Let him feel like he's the man. Let him feel like he's the man. You know, there's a way you carry on these things that even members of the family may know that you are the person earning the money, but the man still has his head it's on. Pride, yeah. Yes, it's pride. Thank you. Yes. He's not feeling like. I mean, nobody, I mean, the water, everything's on me and all of that. So back on my sister's call on priorities, yes. to set priorities, we need to understand what is important and what, what is, is urgent. It? Yes. And I'm sure we've important discussed that. Important and urgency. Important and urgency. They're not the same. What is important is critical. You do it to be able to achieve other things. You do it because many other factors and variables are hinging on that important thing. If you don't do it, other things are lying. Urgency means it's calling for attention now. Now It might be urgent and not important. But usually, more important things are more difficult. So you must be disciplined to say, I must do the important thing, you know, and leave the urgent ones because I'll come back on those because they are urgent and not urgent. important. Yes. Okay. So ask yourself the question, amongst these two things, if I don't do this, what happens? What happens? Or if I do this, what happens? If this task, if, your, if two tasks are still dependent on this one task, yeah. meaning if I don't sign this off, two other people are not going to get to Good. work, okay. then it's important. I quickly sign it so that the other two guys get to work. Get to Otherwise, work. I'm holding three people, to, I'm holding everybody down. Hmm. You can use that to kind of okay. see what is important and priority. Okay, okay. so Prioritize. very quickly, yes. um, very quickly, I want us to talk about the fact that most men complain that their yes. wives are too busy. Okay, yes. Yes, we're talking about that. Right, thank you. Um, it's an issue, and it's a very big issue at that, because the home, rea you realize now that Domestic issues are really heavy, especially on the children, mm. because many women are now out on the streets. We're working, we're busy. Yes. The guys are there, the woman, the woman is there, and nobody's taking care of the home is an issue. Wisdom demands that we know how, um, you know, how, where to draw the line. Very important. Now, in, the, in your family life cycle, you are not on the same level every time. True. There's a time the children are young, demanding attention that the husband, your husband alone can't give. At that point in time, what should you do? Are there other support systems and structures you have? For example, we, ha we had a set of twins, mm -hmm. and, I was, and I've always been a career person. And I did career where I'm in the midst of men, mm -hmm. men dominated, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. And the children are there, you know. So I, I have a very supportive husband who was doing business and also, as we, also have, we also put some support structures in place. You, you, will, you will pay some money for that, but it's worth it. You know, go to think, do you have a driver who can bring the children home? Okay. Is there a caregiver that can take care until you come? Mm. Are you with me? You think yes. you the way? Then you must be a dogged. That's the point. You can't be a lazy person as a 360-degree woman. Yes. Hard work. You have to be hard working, up and doing. Yes. So, um, yeah. So, if your husband is complaining, I think be, be fair. Let's sit back and discuss and, and be discuss honest it. and yes. discuss. Communication. Effective communication. Exactly. <laughs> Very important. Yes. Okay, you're coming. You close. You get home 8, 9 o'clock. I get home 8, 9 o'clock. Our children are both asleep by the time we return. Is this the family we want to raise? Have the conversation. Be honest with yourselves. And please listen to the man as much as possible. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a, the truth is I have a whole lot of questions to ask, but we, we just have to ask, wrap up. Yeah, because you asked, you actually answered one of the questions I had in mind that yes. has to do with you know being in a male dominated job and then yes. you have children. As How you said, please yes. listen to it. We'll talk about that after the show. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Hannah Ebanja, for pleasure. coming on the show. Pleasure. Okay, to all the three sixty degree women <laughs> out there, I'm yes. sure you've been able to pick a thing or two, and I will just let Hannah Oyebaja give you. A last you know, piece of advice. Yes. So thank you. Piece of advice is it's possible. It might be daunting. Yeah. It's not very easy. You won't pass and score an A across all board, mm -hmm. but it is possible. And should you be in the situation where you're feeling I'm no longer 360, I've missed too many things on earth, and it's not the end of the world, pick it up from where you are now and make sure you help your girl child and help all the girl children out there to be 360 women. It's possible. Go get it done. Thank yes. You. And I think we should also, one of these days, talk about the 360 degree man. Yes, I agree we, with should. You. Right. we should. Right. You know, because I, I feel these yeah, days, we, alone. I feel, okay, on the International Women's Day, yes. you know, I was having a conversation with one of our guests and I was talking about how, you know, 
Mother's Day, we have lots of days that celebrate Correct. them. We have just one for the men, and people hardly talk about the issues men face Correct. or what they go through. Good point. So, you know, I think that in as much as we try to encourage our women, mm -hmm. we try to talk about issues that our women face, oh, we should also focus on the men. Well, thank you so thank much you so once much. again for coming thank on the you. show. Like what you just saw, click the notification bell, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing programs.